Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum, Namaste and Wanakkam. Welcome back to my channel, Samira Sharee. Alright guys, so as you all have already seen the title and thumbnail, this video is going to be about breast milk and breast milk journey. Like how my journey has been ever since the day one till today. Now, yes, a lot of mommies still have complained uh, that I am still nursing Arhan and right now at this point of time, Arhan should be focusing more on his solids. Alhamdulillah, he does have his solids. But at the same time, I also nurse him. I nurse him a couple of times during the day and also in the night. Uh, Arhan co-sleeps with me so I nurse him even during the night. So that's about the nursing journey. That's how you see a lot of nursing videos of mine along with Arhan. Not because uh, I have to post the video but yes because I nurse him so many times in a day and also during the night. Now moving forward, thank you so much for showering so much love on my previous video where I shared about the breast milk journey and it has been helpful for so many mommies out there. I'm so glad so many mommies still comment and message me even on Instagram and thanking me on how that particular video had helped them and how their journey got better. Now, there are a couple of things that I wanted to share with you guys right now at this point of life. Like, you know, um, that was my journey when I initially started nursing Arhan. He was just like, you know, two months old when I filmed that video. And now Arhan is 17 months old. He's going to be like 1.5 years old, super duper soon. And I'm still nursing him. So there are a few challenges that I've been facing uh, during this period. So I thought I should make a upgraded video like you know the current uh, situation current scenario video and share the same with you guys first and foremost a lot of people wean off breastfeeding by this time in fact Arhan's doctor also had told me that I should start weaning him off when he turns 18 months old like you know reducing the amount of times like the uh, times that I feed him like you know times that I nurse him for example if I nurse him like three to four times a day I should cut it down to one time or two times a day at home when we are at home I cut down the number of times that I nurse him but when we go out and uh, like you know the quick thing that he wants to have or when he's surrounded with a lot of people or unknown people breast milk is something that he gets associated to and he feels safe there so that's why I nurse him so many times when I'm outside now moving forward, as you guys know, Arhan is growing. He's like he's going to be 1.5 years old in another few days. And also he had started teething. And this stage of life, you know, because he started teething, he started biting my nipples. And also uh, there are a few times when they just want to bite on something because they're teething. And the only thing that gets handy to them is obviously our nipples. And he started biting them. And I started having cracked nipples like since the past couple of days. I'm sure a lot of mommies out there are going to relate to it. And... It was so terrible, so bad that, you know, uh, I started, ha it literally started bleeding and it was so horrible that I couldn't nurse him. And that phase, uh, this happened like a week or two ago when I don't feed him and someone else helps me uh, putting him to uh, nap. Those days, you know, I was just nursing him like two times all throughout, only during the bedtime and in the middle of night, I would like nurse him once. And that time I had horrible, horrible breast engorgement. Now, breast engorgement is something that a lot of people don't pay attention to but you need to need to need to focus on this guys when you don't focus on your breast engorgement it leads to a lot of things first and foremost is your milk supply is going to reduce because uh, the breast is engorged and the nipples will not release the milk the milk flow is going to reduce and to that the supply is going to reduce the first thing that you need to work on is to relieve the engorgement so when this happened to me I was really panicked I, I thought I should just see my gynecologist I went to her and the only thing she told me was I need to undergo the hot fermentation now what exactly a hot fermentation is you uh I have shared this even in my previous video like when I had breast engorgement in the initial days due to oversupply also because my nipples were cracked because I have uh, flat nipples it was horrible and in the hospital they had hot rolling pin which actually helped me in like you know rolling down the milk and that had actually helped me to uh, regularize my flow like the milk flow but we don't get that in the market it was just available in the hospital but something that actually was a savior in fact i had put that on my instagram story as well the moment it gave me that beautiful relief is this one and this is the breast hot and cold therapy pad now this is by the brand love lab guys uh, again this comes like so 
if you want to heat it up you're just gonna pop this in your microwave and heat it up for about 30 seconds and then you will pop it into this bag so we'll pop it like so into the pouch it also comes with a button like so here wherein you can just place it on your breast and this is gonna give you such a relief trust me guys this is one of the greatest invention by love lab and this has to be one of my most favorite product from their brand using this one had actually helped me get rid of the uh, breast engorgement as i said breast engorgement will lead to a lot of things and first and foremost is fever and this happened to me several times like you know in the initial days of my uh, feeding journey and also when Arhan just turned one year old also I had the same thing like I fell sick during Aiza's birthday because of the breast engorgement and Alhamdulillah thankfully I did not fall sick this time because uh, this was a big 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 savior I'm definitely going to leave the links to all the products that I'm going to show in this video or talk about in this video in the description box so you can go and check them out now as I said this is from the brand love lab and this works great for hot and cool I never happen to use the cold but if you want to use a cold uh, therapy using this pad you just need to pop it in the freezer and uh, whenever you want to use it again put it back into the pouch and just place it onto your breast so this this exactly fits perfect onto the breast and also gives that great 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 relief i would definitely rate this 10 on 10 you guys in fact for hot therapy you can just leave it in your microwave for about 10 to 15 seconds and it does the job you guys and the next thing that actually helped me get rid of the engorgement is definitely a breast pump now when your breast gets normal the only thing that you have to do is express the entire milk and when you have cracked nipples you cannot do it with your hands or and you cannot even nurse your baby because it was horrible it was literally horrible and something that saved my life was a breast pump now let me show you guys the one that i've been using love labs adore electric breast pump it has two modes and nine levels like it is insane no other uh, brand like you know no other breast pump has two modes with nine levels that's like the best and also it works without uh, power so i've already charged this because i i like to use it on the go and as you can see it's on and this is the maximum level of stimulation so basically what it does is it's first stimulates it stimulates the breast for making the lactation better the flow better and once it is done it goes on to the milking process wherein you can see So this is the milking process again you can increase the level of milking to 9 let me just turn this off because of the sound again uh, this the charging port comes with a usb cable let me show you okay so basically the charging port comes with a uh, usb cable in case if this is out of battery you can always charge this using the power bank or any ac port let it be your car charger or anywhere so it is going to be super duper handy. I would personally recommend you guys to get your hands on something which works without a proper charger. I mean, which you can charge it and take it anywhere and everywhere. So that is one of the most comfortable thing and super easy comes with a uh, touch button. And also it is so, so cute and classy. The best thing that I like about this pump is this silicone cushion. This fits any size or any shape of breast super, super comfortably. The dual breast pump combines the suction and nipple stimulation for a quicker lactation and uninterrupted milk flow. One touch operation with digital touch base display. And the best about this is it's smart memory remembers the last usage settings. Amazing, right? So every time that I turn on the breast pump, I don't really have to do the settings because it automatically comes to my regular settings. Also, the anti-backflow design avoids any kind of contamination caused by milk reflex. As I said, I would leave the links to these products in the description box. And the next thing that I would highly, highly recommend you guys to get your hands on is definitely a Hakka bottle. So I've already spoken about Hakka bottle in one of my previous videos, like the previous breast milk journey videos. But I'm sure not a lot of you all are aware of Hakka bottle. Let me show you guys how exactly that looks. So this is what a Hakka bottle looks like guys and it comes with a lid like so. So all you got to do is just press the Hakka bottle, place it onto your breast and leave it. So when you release it, it's gonna suck and stay onto your breast like so. And whatever droplets of milk that you're gonna have from the other breast, like if you're nursing your baby or using the breast pump on one breast, the other breast definitely is gonna have the droplets of milk that is gonna be collected onto this bottle. And you can use this to either nurse your baby or also store this milk. This is a very, very, very useful product and 
a great invention so this is something i would highly 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 recommend you guys to get your hands on this trust me buy this once and you will definitely thank me later this is also from the brand love lab and uh, is super super comfortable one thing that i want to tell you guys is whenever you're using these products make sure you use a great cleanser uh, like a very organic cleanser love lap is very good i've been using their cleansers cleanse them properly then you need to sterilize them using a sterilizer or probably insert it into boiling water once it is sterilized then you can use it it is safe to store your breast milk into this whenever you're nursing or expressing place this on the other breast and then you can close the lid and leave it aside breast milk can be used like you know till two to four hours when it is kept in room temperature so this is something which is super duper handy again link is in the description box a lot of you have been asking me how did i store breast milk or you know how did i happen to donate and how exactly i did those things so for which if you need something then it is a breast milk storage bag again this is by the brand love lab guys it has measurements all over written like it can store up to 240 ml of milk in each pouch and also has the name and time for example if you're wanting to donate this to someone you can always write your name or your child's name and the time is very important you need to mention the date whenever you've expressed the milk and also it comes with double sealing so double seal is something which is very important it'll keep the breast milk away from contamination and also leakage so leak proof is something that you need to look for also another thing that you guys have to notice in this is it comes with a pre-sealed pack like you have already a sealed pack which means it is extremely hygienic and also as i said it comes with double seal and as i said all these products whichever you're using for your baby you need to sterilize them before using but these packs the breast milk storage bags are pre-sterilized so you don't have to sterilize this and of course it is bpa free guys and also it comes with a self-standing design so once you store the milk it's just gonna stand like so it's gonna be super comfortable for us to measure the amount of milk that we have stored and also the double sealing pack so once you have seen it you can just normalize this and it is easy to store in a flat way so this is how you need to freeze and this double seal makes it leak proof and we can freeze and store our precious breast milk so this is how i stored and stacked a lot of breast milk and donated it at breast milk bank now apart from all these things something that really worked for me was the ointment it is tea bag as i said i will leave the links to everything that i'm speaking about in this video in the description box so please go and check that out i'm sure a lot of mommies are gonna relate to this video because uh, this is something that happens in most of the mommies life for example when i share the same to the other moms at arhan school they said it happened the same with us as well so not everybody has an awareness or not or not everybody knows things like these so i thought i should sit down and talk to you guys and share my experience with you guys this is my journey guys this is what i have been doing but if you are a working mom and if you want to you know nurse your baby using your breast milk only and not formula not saying that formula is in good formula also is as good as breast milk but if you are someone who is very keen about nursing your baby your breast milk then these packs are definitely going to come handy and also the breast pump as i said this is so good simulates and also express like you know it has two modes with nine levels so such a great investment you can just use this breast pump express your milk store it and leave it for your baby and never forget using a haka bottle whenever you're expressing your milk this is something i would highly highly recommend and as i said my most favorite has to be the hot and cold therapy bag trust me get your hands on this and you will love it and uh, the ointments link also i will leave in the description box again it is tea bag that is the ointment that i've been using and alhamdulillah i have healed but uh, if you are going through the same issue or if you have the same problem and uh, if there is something that is going to help you out then these are the products guys and also uh, galact is something that i drank during the initial days like galact into warm water i would mix one or two spoons in the night and have it that is something that really helped me in having good milk supply i've even mentioned in the previous video as i said if you're using anything that has to do with the medicated stuff i would definitely recommend you guys to check with your gynecologist because she knows you and she knows your health and everything to do with you more than me or more than anyone so i would first recommend you to talk to her consult her you can share that you know these are the things that you've heard from someone like let it be the ointment or even the galact you can check with her if she gives you a thumbs up then you can just use them 
and they yeah, are uh, having said that and one more important thing that i want to share you guys please 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 for god's sake hydrate yourself guys the more water you drink the more milk you're going to produce not everybody talks to you guys about this yes you need to eat healthy yes you need to eat right but having yourself hydrated also is equally important so we are recommended uh, i'm sure while you're leaving the hospital doctors tell us to have at least you know one glass of water before nursing that is because the more water goes into your body your milk supply is going to be amazing milk is nothing but generated using the food that you've eaten also a lot of water that you drink so keep yourself hydrated if you don't hydrate yourself and just keep nursing your baby or expressing milk you're going to be dehydrated so keep yourself hydrated i hope this video was informative and uh, i hope you guys like this video and uh, please do subscribe to the channel give this video a like share and i'll see you all soon in a brand new video until i'll see you next lots of love